Thanks. <laughs> Maggie, tell me, what does a manly man dislike even more than a woman who beats him at his own game? Green vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I can see you have experience with the breed. Uh -huh. And and what if you you make fun of his manly exploits? Uh, be prepared to drop and roll. Great. We have to go out to lunch. I bet you have a lot of interesting war stories to tell. Do I smell... Yeah. Skunk? No doubt about it. Mm. Uh, <laughs> oh, Billy, Billy, Billy. <laughs> Just you wait. <laughs> Lord! Maggie, dial 911. Jack, something big and bad just happened over at the Spalding site. Go dial 911, damn it. Yes, the Union Bank building. Uh, get Jim Marshall and get over there with Everett and another photographer. Well, look out the window. I mean, the building wasn't supposed to come down till next week, but from the looks of that cloud dust, it just happened. Get over there. and saw Armageddon. Yeah, something's sure as hell happened. What happened? I don't know. I can't see anything. There's too much smoke. Something fell down, I guess. We dial 911. That's very good. <laughs> Who the hell pulled that hey. wall down without no warning? Mike, you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm all right. Everybody got you? See Josh and Bill? Uh, Mr. Lewis is back there. There. Oh, my God! Billy, can you hear me? Josh! Bill! We need help down here, Holly, right away. Call Reba. Josh! Bill! Is Josh? Call Reba. Call Reba. Right. No, Reba. Reba. God, I hope no one's caught underneath that thing. Reba Lewis, it's an emergency. Hey. Howdy, stranger. You kick in my door and then I don't see you for a while? I bet you didn't even realize how busy you were until this moment. What's your excuse? Why make it a point never to offer excuses? Oh, you just tough it out, huh? Yeah, generally. Mm -hmm. Um, you free for lunch? Yeah. You have time to fool around? I could make time. Probably for me. Well, whoever it is, you're booked for the next couple of hours. <laughs> I could ignore it, but that wouldn't be very professional, would it? <laughs> no. no oh. Hello, Rib Shane. It's Holly. Hey, Holly. Uh, look, if this is about that story we were talking about, can it wait because I was just on my way out to lunch? It's about Josh. Uh, what about Josh? Well, he may be okay, but I, I, I was just talking to Billy. What is it? The building he was working in collapsed. Dear God. Bud. I just got a hold of Billy, and he told me to call you. Is Joshua... I don't know. Billy couldn't see him, uh, but, but he couldn't see anything. I'm on my way. Yes. The, the construction site, there's been a, some kind of an accident. Any doctors? Oh, come on, let's go. This work, your duty, your sacred duty, will be the safety and well-being of the most precious person in the principality, my wife and our princess. Yes, sir. I'm honored to be of service. From the moment she leaves her royal apartments in the morning until she retires in the evening, you are to be by her side. Well, not every minute. 
unless it should appear more appropriate for you to wait nearby, should I be with her, for example? I can be discreet, sir. Now, there will be state occasions where Cassie will have to have contact with the public, and you'll have to perhaps increase the security detail with more men. Uh, I don't want any more. I mean, I'm sure Lieutenant Rourke can handle me all on his own. I'm sure he can, too. I, uh, you know, I just don't want to take any chances as far as you're concerned, my dear. You realize this is a seven-day-a-week job. You can't ask him to give up his life for me. Well, I'm afraid that's exactly what this job entails. Uh, Lieutenant Rourke, if there is any personal commitment that you might have that would compromise your duty to the princess, please say so now. You mean a wife or a girlfriend? No, sir. Nothing to interfere with my duty. Good. Your Highness. What is it? Your appointment from Smythe Winthrop is here. Oh, right, right. Um, I have him wait in the anteroom. I didn't know you were expecting anyone. Should I arrange for refreshments? No, it's not uh, someone, it's something. Edmund, if you think there's, there's anything that Lieutenant Rourke should know, please instruct him. This will only take a little bit. Do you know who Smythe Winthrop is? Certainly. If he were alive today, he'd be several hundred years old. Well, Richard said that he was meeting him. Well, I'm sure he's meeting a representative of the firm, which is by appointment the royal jeweler. He's probably ordered something for someone. He knows that I love surprises. Interestingly, he dislikes them himself. I wouldn't say that. Or perhaps you've never surprised him unpleasantly. I hope I never do. So, are there any other official duties that you need to tell Lieutenant Rourke? Oh, I think he knows exactly what to do. Well, he hasn't heard his unofficial duties yet. And if he can't meet them, then the deal's off. You went down with the police divers? Yeah, I couldn't just stand there and watch them drag the lake. I couldn't do it. I'm glad I didn't know about it. Have you eaten anything? Uh, I don't remember. Uh, okay, okay. I'm going to fix you some eggs. No, no, no. You stay here with your husband. I'll, I'll make them. I waited by the phone all night. Damn, I'm sorry. I was so distracted. No, no, I knew that somebody would call if there was any news, good or bad. You need some rest. I'd rather look at you. Helps me keep the image of that murky green water out of my mind. Where's Lizzie? Oh, she's, uh, she's at Millie's sleepover. I thought it was best. She didn't pick up on anything. No, no, thank God. I just don't think I could deal with her relentless questions right now. It's the way she deals with fear. She just feels like if she knows more, then she can control it. You know, she did that during her sickness. I think she must get that from Philip. The two of them, if, if there's a problem, they want to know it. To me, I'd rather pretend everything is fine as long as possible. I'm, uh, I'm, well, I'm sure Susan's okay, but... Uh, so, so am I. So am I. I, I, I. I should be the one comforting you. I'm, I'm not just saying that to make you feel better. I honestly believe it. If she had drowned, I, I would have known if she was down there under the water. You're right. I'm sure that you're right. Now, when we see her, she'll be on her feet with, with her hand on her hip and a room full attitude. Mm -hmm. And uh, she can sass me as much as she wants. I'm not going to complain anymore. When you love somebody, you just know it. Here. Okay. Judge! Oh. Judge Lewis! Did anybody see Josh Get Lewis? Here. Billy! 
Said he was until all hell oh. broke loose. But well, where is he now? I never ordered that wall taken down. Shut I don't have to about it. Now, you, you just be careful. Stay away from that rock up there because we don't know what's holding that up at all. Josh! Reba. Josh! Reba, we got a mobile unit outside. Here's a mic for you. Uh, you handle it, okay? I have to find my husband. Rowan. We're live. Reba Lewis at the scene of a construction disaster that just happened minutes ago during demolition the old Union Bank building. Reba's just learned her husband, Josh Lewis, of Lewis Construction, may be among the missing. Joshua! Josh! Ma'am, once every half hour, we'll be fine, okay? <laughs> so where can we roll Uh, the Esplanade along the beach is eminently suitable. Eminently is good. Do you ride? Horses? Well, I guess it's too much to ask for a motorcycle. So. Yes. I'm told I have a good seat. Yes, you do. So I don't have to ask. I'm sure you work out, right? <laughs> I try and keep up. Me too. We can spot each other. You play poker? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Hasn't been a half hour yet. So you're a poker fiend? In fact, that might create a conflict of interest. How so? I'm sworn to protect you. And that includes card sharks like me. Why well, wouldn't be so cocky? Maybe I don't need protection in that department. In fact, I would be careful what you bet because you may lose one of your gold medals by the end of the week. I bear that in mind, ma'am. You're going to kill me with this ma'am thing, aren't you? So, can you pick a lock? Excuse me? They lock the food up in this place, and I need someone to help me break into the kitchen. All you have to do is ring. The staff is at your beck and call. Even a princess wants the privilege to be able to raid the icebox. I mean, half the fun is rummaging through the leftovers, you know? Standing in the dark kitchen with that eerie glow from the door being left open, the cold air escaping, no one there to tell you to shut the door because you're wasting electricity. I mean, you've done that before, right? Excellent training for covert operations. Yeah, and you know, if I, if I wake up some sleepy servant to bring me a midnight snack on a silver platter, I mean, that takes all the impulse out of impulse eating. I think I'm a match for any padlock the butler's pantry has. Great. We're going to get along just fine. I'm at your command. Sorry to just drop by like this. I know... I know you probably just got home. You're exhausted. No, 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 that's okay. You no, found no, no, something? Philip, this, this day has been hard enough. Jim, you know, Jim. no, 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 no. I, could, could we just save any other family complications for a better time, it's, uh, please? It's about Susan. Philip was with me when I got this bit of news. That's why he drove me over here. You, they found her? Uh, her bike. What was left of it. <sighs> where, um, where did they find it? Uh, over, um, by Stuyvesant now. That's a terrible part of town. Yeah, a squad car on a... Routine patrol spotted it behind an abandoned building. They didn't ID it till this afternoon because um, it had been stripped. Uh, well, then how do we know it's Susan's? Uh, we engraved an ID number on it. It's hers. So what would Susan's bike be doing over there? She took great care of her bike. Do, do you think that she was mugged or kidnapped? Well, you know, that's what I thought at hey, first. You know, what, you know what? Nobody really gives a damn what you think, okay, Spaulding? No, no, no. He thinks he knows everything, and you don't know a damn thing about my daughter. Look, I'm sorry. I'm not, I'm not trying hey, look, to... don't come into my house and trot out your worst-case scenario so that you can put on your big protector act, all right? Jim, you're scared, and so am I. But please don't take this out on Philip. You listen to me, all of you. Susan has got a lot of common sense. And if she was out in that storm last night, she would know better than to ride her bike. She probably would have just ditched it somewhere where she thought was safe and then took off on foot. And they, they stole it afterwards, and it doesn't mean anything happened to her. You're absolutely right. Yeah, a absolutely, Jim. Look, I'm, I'm not trying to peddle doom here. But you understand why Jim would be so sensitive. I'm not sensitive, damn it. Jim, they couldn't find uh, Susan's scent, the, the canine unit. They couldn't find it anywhere near where the bike was found. That's, uh, that's what I was trying to tell you. And I went off on you, man. Hey, perfectly understandable. No, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Okay. 
You know what? We're all tired, and we're all just getting discouraged well, it's at this been point. It's an awful night. Well, we just keep getting bits and pieces of information that don't seem to add up. First, there's the sneaker in the lake, and then the trace of the her by the docks the dogs found, and now this bike across town. It's just, it's confusing. Yeah. So, it's, it's, so, so take it easy. If, uh, if it were about Susan, they'd be calling you guys, not me. Yeah. What? Uh, uh, mm, okay. Um, don't do anything. I'll be right there. What is it? The uh, bank building downtown. The construction site? Yeah, half it just collapsed. Oh my God, Jim, you were supposed to be working there today. They, they think some people may be trapped inside. Yeah, Josh and Billy are there, and Bill's there too. I gotta get down there. I'm coming with you. Uh, 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 yes, go, go, go. If anything, uh, if any word of Susan comes, I will call you on your cell phone. Yeah, we've got our radio, Jim. Come with us. How much parking, Jim? I'm gonna go get the TV and see the news. Once a landmark bank building looks like a bombed out war zone. So far, Reba has been unable to locate her husband. Joshua! Can you hear me, Bob? Please answer me. Josh! Oh. No, no, is he alive? Is he alive? Is he alive? Is he alive? What happens if we move this whole thing ships? Es que no hablo I inglés. know, I know, I know the answer to it anyway. Bud, we're gonna get you out. Señorita, I uh, uh, careful, okay? Gracias. Su nombre? Diego. Riva. Okay. Now look, you have to wake up. Now is not the time for you to be dreaming about beating me in a game of chess up at Cross Creek, bud! Okay, now listen, Josh, you have to wake up. You have to wake up and help us, otherwise they're gonna write finished on our story, bud! Riva, we got a rope to help pull him out! His legs are trapped! Okay, we're gonna send down some kind of a lever and push it up against the wall and try because every time we move down here, the whole thing shifts. Okay, okay. Oh. Well, oh. look who's awake. Oh. Reba, Reba, oh. hold your yeah. back out. Let me take your place. No, no. Look, I, I'm a doctor. I can help. How you feeling? Huh? My legs. Oh. You know what? Complain, complain. A couple tons of concrete fall on you and you think it's a big deal? We're going to get you out of here. Oh. Quanto tiempo? Yeah, just Are you sure? Si, sí, senor. Uh, okay, somebody hand me a rope. Okay. All right, it's coming. Uh, Reba, you slide around his shoulders. No, no, it's all right. I can do it. Just, just get it around. Put it in my hand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Go. 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 Ah! Ah! No! Oh! No go! No go! It's not gonna work. Okay. Reba, you get out of here. Just get out. No. The kids need both of us alive. Go. Get both of us. Now, do it. Get the wrong Here. Let me do this. Oh! Okay. He's out. Easy him across the floor. Shot. 
at a bad time, obviously. Beth. You're probably busy with affairs of state or something. Even if I were in the middle of a palace coup, I'd be delighted to hear from my second favorite blonde. Lizzie commands my heart. I must be candid. I guess that's why I called you. I'm smiling for the first time today. But in that case, this call has already served one major purpose. It seems a little foolish calling long distance for reassurance, though. If there's anything I can do for you at any time, Beth, if you need my help in any way, all you have to do is ask. I don't think you can fix this one. Oh, I'll be the judge of that. Who's to black my eye this time? Your oafish husband? Or is it to be your stiff-jawed ex who's going to have another go at me? How are you at missing children? This isn't a joke. I wish. <sighs> Susan has been acting out ever since she found out about Philip and me, and... and... Well, she had a party, she, things got out of hand, they did some damage to the house, she got drunk. Predictable. The upshot is she didn't want to face her father. So she ran away. And the note she left, it seems pretty serious. In what way? Well, it sounds pretty final. The police are certainly taking it seriously. They, they have their dogs trying to locate her and, and, and they've dragged the lake for her. And found nothing. Well, no, no, they found her bike, they found a number of other things, but they haven't found Susan, no. And I, Edmund, I'm just, I'm trying to be positive for Jim's sake, but Susan has been upset ever since Jim and I decided to make a go of it, and, and, and we probably haven't been giving her the attention she needs, and I just, if something happens to her. I guarantee Susan is fine. How can you say that with such supreme confidence? Oh, perhaps it's just one survivor recognizing another. That girl's always impressed me with her common sense and vitality. It's always the withdrawn, murky ones you have to worry about. Besides, she seems to have made it almost impossible to follow a trail. Someone bent on suicide leaves all sorts of clues behind. Probably because they won't be found and stopped. No. Nope. I wager Susan is holed up somewhere nearby. Just give her a couple of days to think about it and to collect herself. The prodigal daughter will make a somewhat sheepish reappearance. Probably when you least expect it. And there'll be joyous reunion all around and all be well. How do you do that? How do you do that? When I called you, I felt utterly hopeless, and now the sun is shining. I tell thee, love is nature's second sun, causing a spring of virtues where he shines. A somewhat minor 16th century English poet by the name of Chapman. I have quotations for all occasions. That one's filed in the sunshine. <laughs> I just, I don't know how to take you sometimes. You are such a surprising combination of reassuringly sensible and completely outrageous. Yes, well, it's a gift. I'm also clairvoyant, which is why I know the real reason you called. And it has nothing to do with Susan. Even with the best security system in the world, if you know how to protect yourself, you'll feel safer. I would, definitely. I'll teach you. Come here, ma'am. You cannot call me ma'am when you're going to show me how to knock someone's lights out, okay? okay? So what do I do? 
All right. Good wide stance. Now, pretend I have a knife. So I come here, left hand, here, right hand. Go right for the eyes or crush the windpipe. Hmm? It's graphic. <laughs> now you try it. Ready? Okay. Here, here there. Excellent. <laughs> hey, now, what do you do if someone grabs you from behind like this? I think I'd scream. Right. And you scream and then stomp on the foot there and elbow him here. All right? Okay. Now, go ahead. You try it. What's going on here? What are you doing with my wife? Yeah, I asked him to show me some moves to defend myself so I wouldn't feel like a victim the next time some maniac comes up to me with a knife. Simple boot camp technique, sir. I see. Well, I don't want her engaging in hand-to-hand -hand combat. That's why we hired you to begin with, isn't it? Excuse me. You know all sorts of moves to protect yourself. Why shouldn't I? Don't say it's because you're a man. All right, you got me there. Very well. Uh, carry on. I'm much more curious as to what's in that box. This? Uh -huh. Oh, this is nothing that would interest uh, G.I. Jane. Oh, don't tease me. Come on, is it... <laughs> Come on, give no, it to no, me. No, no, uh, Lieutenant, I think I can handle this insurrection on my own. Thank you. <laughs> I understand, sir. I suppose you could break this hold and my neck now with one arm tied behind your pretty little back. Well... I wouldn't do either. <laughs> sneaky, <laughs> sneaky, nice try. Not, not good enough, though. Now, give me a proper kiss. Which may be sooner than you think, because I'm going to die of curiosity. <laughs> well, we can't have that. <laughs> All right. Um, I have decided to reinstate uh, an old royal order in your honor. And in this box is the insignia for your investiture, and I plan to conduct the ceremony myself. Yes, this is the Royal Order of the Diamond Garter. I know that you're being outrageous again, Edmund, but I really do wish that you were clairvoyant, because if you were, you could tell us where Susan is. I'm sure that would be a relief for the obvious reason, of course. But also, because this situation has brought together the fab four of Springfield for numerous fraught emotional conferences. Jim and Philip are handling it. What about you, Beth? Those pesky, contradictory desires. For your information, my marriage has never been more solid. Solid? What a ringing endorsement. If ever man was damned with faint praise. You're not sure you made the right choice. And Philip is so temptingly near, so conveniently a part of your children's lives. Okay, okay, I'm going to hang up now. I'm the way out of your dilemma. Your guiltless alternative. Your subconscious has figured it out. And that's why you made this call. You know something, Edmund? This isn't amusing any longer. It's offensive. No, it's the truth. And that's what you know you will always hear from me. But I see you need to play this drama out. That's fine. I'll wait. Give my best to Jim. I'm not going to call you anymore. I just want you to... <sighs> you are playing a dangerous game. No, I'm not. I'm not playing any game. Well, as it is, you don't dare let your guard down when you're in the same place with Jim and Philip. So you add Edmund to this mess, and um, 
It's like adding grease to fire. Reeve, come on, let's go. Billy, there's another man in there. I can't leave him alone. Reeve, you got to just come on. Reeve, Reeve, don't you don't make don't make me get Reeve. Diego, Senora. Hey, Josh was alive because of you. Well, Hang on, help is coming, okay? But I don't know what to do right now. No trouble. What, what can I do? Are, are you in pain? No. You're nasty. I don't understand. America. We come to freedom. For this. Now, the Royal Order of the Diamond Garter was uh, originated by the first monarch of San Cristobal nearly 500 years ago and is to be conferred only by the sovereign upon his heart's desires. You're making this up. I'll have you know that this is a time-honored tradition and ceremony. It has its own uh, patron saint and motto and everything. So what's the motto? Hmm? Um, uh, in amorous... In amorous... Confidemus. In love we trust. Uh, who's the saint? Cupid. Cupid wasn't oh, a just, saint. Just let me get on with it, will you? <laughs> now, your rights and privileges as a dame of the royal order of the garter are as follows. Oh, I can't wait to hear these. First, you have the right to request a private audience with your prince at any time, short of a national emergency, of course. How private? Very. Very private. And uh, you may ask anything of your prince, and it shall be granted immediately. Any limits? No limits. And your prince is to display undying love for you at all times. I like that. Can I do some demonstrating of my own? Absolutely. Wearing my garter? Most definitely, and uh, little else. Really? Now, there's only one condition, you know. That, um, no one, absolutely no one, except your prince, of course, can so much as even touch the royal diamond garter. Well, that goes without saying. So come on, let's do it. Oh my, we are impatient, aren't we? <laughs> All right, here goes. Uh, by the power vested in me, by the constitutional monarchy of San Cristobal, I hereby grant Cassandra Elizabeth Lane Winslow with this mark of royal favor. Hang on. Yes, sir. Uh, we don't wish to be disturbed. Nobody in or out, all right? Yes, sir. Thank you, Rock. Hoo-ah! in or out, sir. Are they at it again? I wouldn't know, sir. Of course you would. Very well, Rock. Keep me informed. Freedom? Ramon. No, it's Reba. What? Ramon, mi amor. Mi vida. Ramona, Ramona is, is your wife? Sí. Esposa? Por favor. 
Ayúdalo, ayúdalo, por favor. Damn, Yeah. Are you still out there? There's, yeah, there's a bag. Place. There's a big black bag yeah, out there. I got it. Can you toss it in here to me? Yeah, I'm going to toss it. Get ready. Here it comes. Okay. Diego. Diego. Tell me about Ramona. Tell me. Where is she? Where can I find Ramona? Ramona. 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 What? 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 Mirabella. 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 Where's Mirabella? In la factoria. What kind of factory? Mentirosos! Los coyotes. Le dimos todo el dinero. Y nos quedamos en las jaulas. Muchos estaban enfermos. Muchos... Muertos. Dijeron que este país es la libertad. Pero no somos libres. Somos esclavos. Yo aquí. Ramona. En la factoría. En la vera. Mentirosa. I don't understand. I don't understand what you're saying, but I'm getting this all down. What? Tell me Ramona's last name. What's her last name? Do you... Su nombre. Ramona. Alcanta. Ramona. Dígale. Ramona. Que la amo. El Quintero. Dígale. Que la I'll give her your Quintero. message. I'll give her your message. Guiding Light.